I pass my condolences on my own behalf and behalf of my people of Machakos and the entire region to the family and the loved ones and friends of our late Senator Boniface Kabaka. Senator Kabaka was a very lively man, a man who spoke his mind, a man with a sharp brain, a man who worked hard all his life, and a man who was really one you could count upon when he was on your side. At one time, I had him serve in my government as my legal advisor. We spent a lot of time working through the legal issues of forming the county government and working together. We ran for different positions and eventually ran for senator at this particular time and won after trying once before. And while he was a senator, he was out there fighting for the rights of the people of Machakos and more so for the rights and development of the people of Kenya. We will miss him. He was a jovial man. And uh, this is a big loss to us and especially to his family. From what I know, because I knew that he had been ill for some time, he had a clot that had been bothering him for some time, and he was even scheduled to undergo an operation sometime in the future. And, uh, but this was supposed to be because he got the stroke, a big stroke that uh, eventually took him away from us. I pray that at this time of sadness that we protect his family, that we comfort his family in the right ways, and we pray for them because losing a loved one is very, very difficult. I pass my condolences again to his family and may the Lord give them strength and comfort at this trying time. It is a big loss to them, it is a big loss to me, and it is a big loss to all of us in Machakos County and entire Kenya. Boniface Kabaka alikuwa mtu mzuri, tulifanya kazi na ye kwa wakati fulani aliudumu kwa serikali yangu kama mwanasheria ambaye alikuwa ananipa mawaidha tufanya kazi pamoja naye. Nimemfahamu kwa muda mrefu ni mwanasheria ambaye alikuwa na kipawa kizuri sana cha kutetea haki ya wanadamu na haki ya wa Kenya. Kama kiongozi wetu amepigania sana haki ya watu wa kambani kutafutia pesa ya watu wetu wa Machakos ndio tuweze kupata maendeleo. Ni pigo kubwa sana ambalo limetupiga sinsi watu wa Machakos. Senator Kabaka aliaga dunia baada ya kuugua sio kwa muda mfupi amekuwa akiugua kwa muda alikuwa na clot ambayo imekuwa kimsumbua kwa muda kuna wakati mwingine pia alikuwa hospitali hivi majuzi wakamwambia wakam asubiri ya pole pole kidogo ndioweze kufanyiwa upasuaji lakini kwa bahati mbaya akapata stroke na Mwenyezi Mungu akapumzisha akampumzisha familia yake naipa pole Nauliza katika wakati huo uzuni tafadhali tafadhali tuichunge familia yake. Tuachane na propaganda na fitina, tuachunge na kuwaombea na wapa pole sana. Ninaambiwa tuongo machakos tujikakamua wakati huu tukijua kwamba kila jambo linatokea kwa sababu ya uwezo na mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Mola amlaze mahali pema peponi.